Hey everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll talk about some magic offense and magic tips you can use for the evolution of combat. And since the nerf of the Ankh, a lot of people have been saying dual casting is useless because the Ankh was a really, really powerful one. It was even more powerful than the Virtus book, which could have been wrong, I don't know. It had some high requirements, but it was all good. But aside from that, dual casting magic is not useless. So for this video, I'm going to tell you about a few magic offense you can use, and also some general magic tips for the evolution of combat. So I'm going to assume that you're going to do some training with momentum. So if you're using the ability, say for a slayer task, if you're using the weakness of the monster, you're going to hit great no matter what your accuracy is really. So just using the appropriate combat style, and then using the appropriate weakness, Accuracy isn't really needed, so I'm just gonna start off by introducing you to the first one, which only costs 7k in the GE, and it's a bat book. It, it requires 50 magic, and well, it gives you 50 accuracy, which is pretty good. You don't really need it, but it's it, it's good. It, it does great in combat, but th this it costs 7k. There's got to be something a bit better than that. And there is. It's called the Graphulic Orb, and it gives you 60. And the current G price is around 30k. So these are really cheap, and they work really, they they work really well. Because as I, as I said, if you're using the weakness, you're gonna hit. And this is all assuming you're dual casting with momentum. Um, I'm not really going to go into abilities now, but that's for something else. So my top one out of these three that I showed you is bada boom bada wee, it's the Tome of Frost from Dungeoneering. Why you might say? It only gives you 48 accuracy which is less than the other two and it also requires you to get 430k Dungeoneering XP which is 43k tokens. The reason I'm giving this as my top one is because it gives you free water runes. Water runes, that, that's like they cost, cost nothing, but if you're using Water Search, you're using 5 runes per cast. And if you're dual casting magic, you will be casting, each hand will be casting at a rate of 2.4 seconds, or 4 ticks. So, that means you're casting 1 spell every 1.2 seconds, or 2 game ticks. And in 1 hour of momentum, if you're constantly attacking, that's 1.5k casts, adding up to around 80k. 80k an hour. It doesn't sound much, but with current Slayer drops, you're not really making that much profit off Slayer because everything's botted these days. And there's no item sync in the game, so for me personally, it doesn't really matter much if I'm using 80k an hour or not. But for a lot of people, 80k an hour actually is something, and this is my tip for you. And also, really, why wouldn't you use it? Because it works just as well as other offense. Now, my final tip of this video is not related to using momentum or using a dual casting magic. It's using a staff. Uh, a lot of people don't know, and I personally didn't know at the ESC release, that the Armdale Battle Staff actually has free air runes. So if you're going to use abilities at, a, say, a boss monster, and you're, and you're going to use a surge spell, what you could use is, well, you could have infinite air surges, but it... If you're gonna say cast water, water magic at uh, Celiana at God Wars, Sarah God Wars, you could use this and just supply with water runes instead of supplying with air or dust runes as well, because they're more expensive. And that about sums it up for this video. If there's anything else you'd like to see EOC related or skilling related or whatever, please leave a comment of what you want to see. I thought about making a guide for Slayer gear, because next week up is coming a Slayer double XP weekend. Uh, as well as fishing, fishing XP. So, if you want to see that, please like the video. And if you like the video and haven't done so already, please do subscribe and enjoy slaying.